What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. If you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Jeremy. Welcome to Jeremy's World Wild. It's all from today's title guys. Today's video is going to be the Southern Invert Show, Brighton Invert Show 2021. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the clips that I got at the show as well as the pickups I got from the show as well. Now the reason why I say air quotation clips is because I didn't actually record too much this time around from the show. Just because you know I've done videos on the Western and the Eastern, didn't want to record the same thing again. And yeah, so I only got like literally like two clips from the show and just one little clip of me on the train. And yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys the pickups mainly in this video. And yeah, so before I get into today's video, guys, I just want to quickly say that according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video, if you want to see more, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. Now, without further ado, let's show you the clips and then we'll jump straight into the pickups. So guys, you can see why I did air quotes clips I got from the show. Of course, I said at the beginning of the today's video, I didn't want to record too much this time around. And again, I apologize if you guys were looking forward to a really cool video from the Southern Inverse show. But yeah, so hopefully at the next show, I will record some more. But this time around, I just wanted to go enjoy the show for what it was. And yeah, so just wanted to quickly say before jumping into the pickups, um, I really did enjoy my time there. I saw a lot of you guys there, a lot of YouTubers. Again, shout out to Amy. Uh, shout out to um, James from the pe uh, That Pet page. Uh, shout out to Ben from Ben's Pets. And a few others that I met at the show. Of course, I had a couple guys come up to me and say hi who recognize me from my channel. Again, shout out to you guys if you guys are watching today's video. Um, but yeah, so you guys ever seen me at the show, feel free to, you know, tap me on the shoulder. I'm not gonna bite you. I mean, I'm really, really, I, I seem quite tall in person, but only five foot three, so I'm not that scary. <laughs> so feel free to come along and say hi. And yeah, so enough of the chit chat, let's get into showing you what I picked up at the show. All right, guys, so starting off today's video, like I always do with the pickups, uh, we'll be showing you the dry stuff that I got. So pretty much it's gonna be really quick because I didn't get too much dry stuff this time around. Uh, but yeah, so let's start off with, of course, MK Exotics, but no, I didn't get any substrate this time. Just picked up some cushion moss for three pounds. I've got a nice variety. Oh, you can't really see it at the moment. I'll just quickly pop the lid open. As you see, just something different other than sphagnum moss. I'm gonna be using this in an enclosure that I have planned doing soon. I'm gonna make a video on it, so look forward to that. It's gonna be sent around isopods, so that's gonna be exciting to see. And yeah, so other stuff I got, big shout out to Tony, uh, gave me some bags of leaf litter. I was going to pay for these when we were packing up. Uh, again, I helped out at the show with Tony, Venomous Visions. Uh, but yeah, so when we were packing up, I said I'll pay for two and he ended up giving me three bags for free. So you know what Tony did. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate that. So yeah, that's pretty much all like the uh, leaf litter and everything, you know, stuff like that, dry scape. And yeah, so this time I actually bought some enclosures. So starting off with this beast of an enclosure. I'll just lift the camera up guys so you guys can get a better look. As you see, 10 pounds for this really, really nice glass enclosure. Picked this up from so many legs, got some nice sliding lids and it's got a top open lid, but obviously it's upside down right now just because of transportation reasons. And yeah, so I got this tank. I did say I was gonna get one for the Ebopora, so I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna escape this to look really, really nice for the Ebopora Diversity's female. So that was really, really good pickup. I'm surprised no one did buy that tank. Uh, and yeah, the last tank I got was this one from Custom Aquaria. Just want to give them a really, really big shout out because uh, he did actually give this to me for £2 cheaper. Gave it to me for £15 instead of £17. So really, really big thanks for you, dude. Um, didn't catch your name, but really do appreciate that. And yeah, it's a nice glass enclosure. This one is actually going to be for a special inhabitant. I'm going to make an enclosure video uh, for that species too. Uh, I have mentioned it to a couple of you guys, so if you guys know, do not mention it in the comments. This is going to be a really, really cool scape. And yeah, so that's all the dry pickups, guys. Let's get into showing you what live inverts I got. Now, I was actually going to move to my desk, but you know what? I decided 
let me just stay on the floor and I wanted to change the background as well so enjoy the Iceland bag that I used to carry my inverts in uh, and yeah so let's start off with what I picked up at the show starting with the gifts that I got just want to give again a big big shout out to Ben he did give me some beautiful little white spot assassin nymphs and you see there's one just at the top there and if I flip the bark you can see there's a variety in here so really fat ones there's actually one that molted the other day i believe it was this one here or well, not the other day literally yesterday i'm recording this today after the show and uh, yeah so got a group of white spot assassin nymphs which is really really cool i have wanted to work with this species for a little while now so again ben shout out to you dude thank you so much and over at venomous visions again shout out to tony big big thank you for gifting me this cosmoderis femoralis male for helping him out at the store as you see he's a really really nice specimen good size on him i'll get him out here normally i would say handle at your own risk and i will say it here but with the cosmoderis you've got nothing to worry about really just look at that face look how innocent <laughs> now that is an adorable cricket and uh, i actually did have one before if you guys follow me on instagram you'll know how spiky girl i never did actually show on the channel got it from so many legs but really really happy to have another one in my collection and yeah so that's really really cool so that's the cosmoderus femoralis pop that little dude come on back in you go so yeah thank you so much tony again for the cosmoderus let's get you zoomed out and yeah so also from venomous visions i picked up my very first camel spider this is the fluffy camel spider now what i really liked about tony's camel spiders were they actually are really really good size like typically you see them as adults and as they reach adulthood they don't really last too much longer but look how tiny such a cute little one it's just like you know the size that it is right now i know if i do the uh, temperature fluctuations properly i'll have this little one for a while so just super super cute and a unique invert for sure and yeah so that's the fluffy camel spider guys Let me zoom out again and yeah, so I got a fluffy camel spider. Also picked up some roaches. So starting off with uh, green banana roaches. Scientific name is on the lid. As you can see, well, there we go. You can see there's an adult there, nymph there. Not too sure how many are in here, but I was told there should be quite a fair few in here. Oh, I'm just climbing up my arm right now, which is a good opportunity. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, so. Picked these roaches up from Virginia Cheeseman, first time ever purchasing from her and she was really really nice as well as the guy that was there, didn't pick up your name dude but again thank you so much for helping me out with uh, the roaches and everything, answering questions and all that and I've got some escaping right now, that's lovely, come here, yeah let's get you guys a little look, oh, We'll show you guys those later on in a close-up shot. We'll be trying to get some close-ups at the end of the showcase. And yeah, so as well as those, I picked up two tubs. Oops, picked up two tubs of domino roaches. I've been wanting to work with dominoes for a very, very long time. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I picked some up actually at the Brighton show in 2019. But at the time, I picked up four adults. And uh, I didn't have any success with them, to be honest. But this time, I got a really, really nice colony of them as you can see right here and two tubs for three pounds each you can't beat it can you so yeah got two tubs of domino roaches gonna have a nice colony of those going you zoomed out a little bit more and now i'm going to be showing you guys what i actually went to the show for which this time around was some female tarantulas or certain species now i did pick up two females i was looking for and a couple species that i'm really really happy of getting so starting off I got a Formictuous species green gold carapace, as you can see, unsexed for £20. I really, really wanted a Formictuous species again, and I actually couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this one on the table. As you can see, right here, not too much to look at right now, but as they get older, they're going to look absolutely stunning. Of course, hoping for female, but nevertheless, I do have a Formictuous species gold, green gold carapace nonetheless, so that's really, really cool. Now, the second juvie I got was from Portsmouth Tarantulas. Uh, this is the Avicularia Avicularia. The pink toe. Open the lid, guys, see if I can get you a better look. Hopefully she doesn't bolt out. Yeah, here you go. 
as you can see if you guys saw my ebopora diversities they were actually considered in the area before but as you can see this is absolutely stunning so yeah i got myself a ebopora juvie wanted one for a while didn't want a sling so i saw that portsmouth had juvies and i decided to pick one up now which one do i show first oh okay so from tss i've got this absolutely gorgeous female Bracky Palma Burme for £45. £45 for a female. These guys, or girls more like, are really, really expensive nowadays. And she is a grump, this one. She's been flicking hairs, as you can see. So I'm going to open this a little slowly. Oh my goodness. You are angry. But as you can see right here, she's absolutely stunning. She's been a bolty little one. So I'm not going to keep the lid off for too long. Pop that back on. Yeah, you can see she just tried to bolt out the tub. But yeah, got myself a Bracky Palma Bome. Finally, I've been wanting one for a long time. And now, last but not least, for the pickups, I got myself a female that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. Species, I said, if I wanted to get one, I will get a female. And I managed to find one for an absolute steal of price. I got myself a Kila Bracky Species Electric Blue Female from Portsmouth Tarantulas. As you can see, very very good size as well oh i can feel those urticating hairs on my fingers <laughs> but yeah as you can see here guys here she is in all of her glory i'll move the light a little bit so you guys can see her better look at those blues absolutely stunning really really good size um the table that i had my formictima species green gold carapace actually had some of this similar size but they were unsexed for i think they were 55 pounds and i was considering doing it if i didn't find a female try my luck but luckily i found this female um with portsmouth and decided to pick it up so those were my main pickups guys and i'm just going to show you the last thing i actually won the raffle so i bought two uh, strips of raffle tickets to try my luck with the raffle and i won got my winning ticket and I decided to go with, again, from Portsmouth, uh, mystery bag. I've got five slings in here. I'll show you guys what I got. Really, really happy because I definitely got my money's worth. Starting off with a Terran and Pelma Sazmai. Little sling, diddy one, as you can see right there. They won't be too much to look at at the moment. But yeah, so I got myself a Terran and Pelma Sazmai. Species I don't have yet. Got myself Killer uh Vietnam Blue. Really, really cool species. You can see it just down there on the bottom. Maybe if I zoom in. Yeah, you can kind of see the feet down there. But yeah, Killer Brackies, Blue uh, Vietnam. Got myself Pteranoculus murinus, OBT, red color form. Really, really nice. Actually, they do look quite nice as slings. Still got that orange um, appearance. I don't actually have the normal. Uh, OBT. I have the Usambara locale, but I've not got the normal one, so quite cool to have. And the last two being a nice sized, more focus, there we go, Delita Cattle Wagons, Mexican Red Rump. Ooh, it's actually buried itself. It was out earlier. I think if I move. Oh, there it is. Just on the bottom of the substrate there. So yeah, Delita Cattle Wagons, really, really cool. I have one already, but it's really dinky, so it's nice to have a big one. And a Syria Pagopus Hati Hati. You can see the abdomen just there. As you can see, I just do a quick zoom in. You can see the little abdomen there. And yeah, so definitely got my money's worth. I spent, I think, 10 pounds on, uh, two strips of tickets. So with the Terranoculus Murinus and the Talita Cattle Wagons, I made my money back. So really, really happy with that. And yeah, guys, so that's pretty much all the pickups I got at the show. Really, really happy with myself as I did stay within my budget and everything. So yeah, so let's get you guys some close-ups of some of these tarantulas and some of the inverts I got at the show. Let's get right into the outro after that.
all right guys so that's the end of today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed seeing the clips well lack of clips as well as the pickups i got from the brighton aka the southern invert show really really happy with everything i picked up today and again shout out to ben for the gifts of the nymphs as well as tony from benefits visions for the cosmodera spheneralis really really appreciate that dude and yeah so if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to see more content i really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button so there's a notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content i'd also really appreciate if you guys would follow me on instagram jeremy's wild world underscore as well as jeremy's wild world dot sales i am really active on instagram posting pictures of videos of animals and inverts i keep when i don't upload on youtube so that's all for me today guys leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.